The building was built in 1911, and it was one of these substations that were sprinkled around the Boston area for the purposes of powering street trolleys. For years, the neighborhood had this abandoned building. This whole side blocked up with bricks, and on the other side, a magnificent arched window was blocked up with plywood. Historic Boston had been looking at ways in which to help historic buildings contribute to the revitalization and the energizing of neighborhood commercial areas. And this seemed to be prime, right in the middle of the Roslindale Village Main Street District. We've examined every possible way of redeveloping it, office uses, housing, and nothing worked. Roslindale Main Street was an amazing partner. And this neighborhood is very lucky to have an organization and the talents of the people involved in that organization. Parents always talked about the building, how it was just such a stain on the community that was so rich with other happenings. We started having like pop-up movie nights when it was cleaned out. It was a huge deal. From those pop-up movie nights, now we have a beer hall. The idea of extending our business up into a space that was already community was exciting. I stood in this exact spot doing a charity event and I told my business partner, Nick, dude, we gotta go. And he said, let's do it. I love Roslindale. All my friends are moving to Roslindale. I said, do they drink? He's like, yeah. And that giant gantry crane were for railroad trains to pull up, lift machinery that weighed tons off, swing it into this building and let it down. This has become a de facto community center. The doors are copper on the inside. The brickwork is beautiful. The windows, I think, really put the final touch to the space. I remember when these windows were first installed, everybody was like taking pictures and really excited. It was a huge deal. I think the bigger story and better story here is the fact that you were able to create a whole new corner in Roslindale Village catalyzed by historic preservation. Nobody intends to actually after college live here, but suddenly they find that lovely person that they started dating becomes their partner in life. And before you know it, time passes and the kids come and now suddenly you're in one of the oldest places in America and you're part of it.